Amber weather warnings, meaning a danger to life, are extended in Scotland with heavy snowfall expected as a cold snap sweeps the UK. Well, the temperature has fallen and there is an Arctic chill on the way. So how is the capital preparing? The Met Office is warning that the freezing conditions currently blanketing the UK could last into the weekend and beyond. A number of amber weather warnings for snow and several yellow warnings for snow and ice are in place. The most severe conditions will be in Scotland, where several centimetres of snow have already fallen and more is expected. There are warnings of power cuts and vehicles becoming stranded. Well, Louise Hosey is in Aberdeenshire. What is it like? Well, we're just a couple of days into 2026 and uh, already some parts have been experiencing these bitterly cold uh, wintry conditions, which is certainly making its presence felt here in the northeast and in northern parts of Scotland, where tonight uh, this amber weather warning remains in place. Now, during the day, we've seen uh, blizzard conditions. There's also been travel disruption uh, and very difficult driving conditions. And as the weekend approaches, the message really is that this very challenging weather is here to stay for a few days. As the new year swept in, so did the snow. While it was work as usual for some, for others it was a much trickier day. An amber weather warning for parts of the north and northeast of Scotland brought blizzards, snowdrifts and difficult driving conditions. In Murray, many also woke up to a blanket of snow. Unfortunately for some, there was no escape from the freezing conditions. The Met Office says up to 20 centimetres of snow could fall in low-lying areas with up to 40 centimetres on higher ground. The Scottish Government has put in place a multi-agency response team which is monitoring conditions and providing support. There were plenty of visitors to the snow-covered beach at Loch Morlich near Aviemore, where the cold temperatures cause part of the water to freeze over. It's not just Scotland affected. This winter scene was in Warwickshire with snow turning rooftops white across the country. In the heart of the Peak District, icy roads were scattered with snow. People are being urged to plan journeys carefully and pack essentials in the car. Make sure your vehicle's ready. Make sure your tyres have got plenty of tread on them. Around about three millimetres in this, you know, going into the winter. The legal limit's 1.6, but we recommend more. Check your oil coolant levels. Make sure you've got enough fuel, of course, our EV charge if you're driving an electric vehicle. For those not having to travel, there was the opportunity to make the most of it. In the Aberdeenshire town of West Hill, those still on holiday were having fun. Oh, it's crazy. Just woke up this morning and there was so much snow out that it's had. I'm just out sledging today, making the most of it, so hopefully it'll stay here for tomorrow as well. But um, their mum's working from home today, so just uh, try to get, get them out of the house and get a uh, peace and quiet. When it's snowing, you can build snowmen and do snow angels. It's his first time seeing snow, so he was uh, buzzing when he woke up this morning, and so we're going to go make some snowmen and first ever time sledging. The amber weather warning is due to end tomorrow at midday, but a yellow warning for snow and ice will remain in place for parts of Scotland until Monday. Louise Hosey, BBC News. The UK is being hit by Arctic air with freezing conditions expected to bring snow and ice into the weekend. Amber weather warnings for snow are in place in parts of Scotland until midday tomorrow, while yellow warnings for snow and ice have taken effect across all four nations of the UK. But while people are being warned to take care, some are making the most of the wintry weather, as Rhys Williams reports. From the air, Aberdeen looked picture perfect this morning. Weather warnings are in place across the UK, but it's Scotland getting both the best and the worst of the snowy weather. For many, it's the chance to enjoy a proper snow day before they return to school on Monday. It's fun because you get to slide down like... And because, um, and because it's sledging and, and you can build snowmen. 
Fun for the kids, but with blizzards reported across northeast Scotland, it's led to travel chaos, with several treacherous roads closed and flights cancelled. Up to 20 centimetres of snow could fall. Wales hasn't escaped the snow, but most is confined to the mountains. In Irurri National Park, drivers have been asked to avoid a particularly hazardous main road through the picturesque scene. With Arctic air pushing further south, an amber cold health alert covers the whole of England. This day centre in Cambridgeshire provides a warm lunch for those who may be more vulnerable in the cold. If you know that there are older people living near you, keep an eye on them. Um, don't intrude because a lot of people obviously don't necessarily want to be um, you know, seen as vulnerable. But actually, um, if you know somebody is struggling, just a, a tap on the door to make sure that they're OK. The yellow and amber warnings for snow and ice across the UK were all due to expire tomorrow. But with the Met Office now warning that these freezing conditions will continue well into next week, more weather warnings are likely. The snow, it seems, will soon ease, but the UK's freezing start to 2026 looks likely to linger. Rhys Williams, ITV News, Monmouthshire.